Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and this video right here is a high table discussion. I'm on the high table, right? And the question we're going to answer today is one of the questions I get asked uh, most often on the astrology stuff, or and in the seduction stuff, I guess. I guess they whatever. And the question is, does she like me, <laughs> or does she like you? And it's an interesting question. I get that constantly. Again, all relationship, almost all relationship astrology stuff you guys make me do. It's uh, does the person like me or does the person like me or not? And I'm going to answer this question, or or you know, you could be signs of does someone like you or something. Uh, but today we're going to talk about it with regards to seduction because here on the high table, our premise that we're really getting across is vibration, and we're getting a, trying to. I'm trying to teach you guys rapport and I'm trying to teach you guys abundance and the concept of does she like me is not really abundant thinking right it's kind of scarcity I'm not going to do this you know so but I'm going to explain all of this right now I'm going to explain it from the guy perspective does she like me and what you should be thinking and what you should do and then I'm going to ask it from, uh, you know, from the female perspective. Does the guy like me? And what should I do? And what's going on? Or are there signs or anything like that? So that's the deal. Now, you guys cool? So here we go. And now I'm going to get controversial. So the answer for the guys, the answer for the guys side of the, the equation is, when you're asking, does the girl like you? Like you see this girl at a bar, or you're playing at a music at a club, or you see someone at school, or someone at work, or whatever, at the coffee shop, whatever. And you're then you're like, hey man, does this girl like me? What's the deal, you know? Well, there are indicators of attraction, obviously. <laughs> it is, but that's not really the point. And more, more over than that, like more to it than that, when a guy says, does she like me? That's not what you're talking about. You're not talking about indicators of attraction. You're talking about, hey man, does this chick dig me? <laughs> like, does she dig me, man? Can we like hang? That's the question. And does she think I'm nice? You know, does she think I'm nice? Here's the question as far as the seduction is concerned, when you're going into it, when you go to meet and all this kind of stuff. It's 100% irrelevant. Very sincerely. Because I'll tell you, man, even if you've been on a couple of dates with a girl, the girl might not know that she likes you seriously she's still making up her mind and she doesn't not going to give it up because just as a guy is afraid of rejection right like approach anxiety does she like me should i go try a woman has a woman has a women have a similar thing except it's called last minute resistance and last minute resistance can the resistance can happen after they have sex as well so you got to be careful okay you got to be careful but all of this stuff is irrelevant to the question you guys have and the real question is is she gonna sleep with me there's the question now here's something else if you play too slow game and you do the whole does she like me thing does she like me thing does she like me thing as you're finding here's the thing if she does like you like really likes you like marriage material then she's probably not going to sleep with you guys got it because she doesn't want to wreck it she doesn't want to ruin the thing you guys have or the potential that you guys have and so so she's gonna stretch it out which is gonna make it worse so that's one potential another potential is in between the courtship thing she finds out hey you know what she kind of does like it and then you don't make the move she's gonna think you're you're gay <laughs> or you're too slow which is even worse so that's the deal I have a warning for you guys if you go looking for the friend zone, you will find it. So don't go, man. In addition to that, it's scarcity thinking. Let me explain something to the guys out there. I explained it on the last uh, video with how to make money. You have to get the money working for you. The money's got to make you money. The house has got to make you money. Your kids have to make you money. Everybody's got to make you money. That's we're talking about money. But what we're really talking about here on the high table is vib raising your vibration, putting you into the area of abundance. And that was financial abundance, and there's things to go with it. Now, as far as the relationships are concerned, you want to go get that girl, man. And it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant if she likes you or not at the beginning, because she doesn't know. And you don't know either. But you're going to 
But if you lose the mentality, does she like me? Because you know now, you know it's irrelevant. Man, they're like, you, they're like girls aren't going to sleep. It's not, they're going to sleep you because they're bored, they're horny, they like, you know, they're out of town. There are lots of reasons, man. But like liking you is probably way down on the list. Liking you is a reason she's not going to sleep with you. <laughs> That's what you have to learn. You have to reframe this. And then you get that one girl, right? That one. And suddenly, just like money, money is responsible for attracting more money. If you're walking down the street with that one girl, or you, so they see you talking to that one girl, suddenly a whole bunch of other girls are going to start to to talk to you, right? And I'm not talking about right, working out or not working out this or this or that. No pressure, man. We're, I'm putting you into the position of abundance. That one girl, everybody's going to see you talking to that girl. Now everybody's going to want to talk to you. So abundance, it's all coming to you. But you have to lose the mentality of does she like you? Because that is completely irrelevant. Like it's so irrelevant, it's not even funny. <laughs> it's so like, it's like, all right, next, next. You guys got that? This most important thing is irrelevant. Next, next, <laughs> next. What uh, about a woman? What about a woman who wants to know if the guy likes her? Okay, this is a little different. Thanks for sticking it out to this point in the video. On the channel, so I just explained abundance mentality to the guys. And now for the women, I'm going to explain the mind body approach, mind body soul approach that we use here on the channel and aligning your vibration so that you can naturally attract something. You have to have the mentality, just like the guys have to have the mentality that it doesn't matter if she likes him at the beginning or not. The, like, the, the woman has to, like, you have to have a similar approach. <laughs> okay? So, like, you have to remove your fear of, does the guy like you? No, I know what you're saying. You're like, come on, Sonny. It's not true. Blah, 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 blah. You know, guys like pretty girls or guys like this and guys like that. Yes and no. Yes and no. Now, on a mind, body, soul approach to everything, you have to be working on your body. If you don't treat your body as a t like a temple, why, how, why would you expect me to worship your body that you don't treat as a temple? Just saying, just saying. If you don't treat your body like a temple, don't expect me to worship it. If I don't worship your body, I ain't praying. I ain't. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to church, baby. So that's the thing. Now I'll tell you a secret. I'll tell you a secret. Everyone can be beautiful. Everyone. And for all women, all women are beautiful as it resonates from within. It really is. So, But then again, if you weren't a hateful bitch on the inside, you wouldn't be a fat cow on the outside. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you wouldn't be a hateful bitch on the outside. If you were emotionally, just like I used to say in my emotional weight loss workshops, Losing, losing weight, they say, oh, I say, why do you want to lose weight? They say, oh, so I can be happy. But losing weight ain't going to make you happy. But being happy is going to make you lose weight. So, something to think about. Everyone is beautiful, but you have to resonate from the inside out. Mental note. <laughs> so I'll tell you something else. And then once you resonate and you're in alignment and you think you're beautiful and you feel beautiful, then you're going to go up and talk to the guy and you're not going to have the lack of confidence. You're just like the guy can overcome approach anxiety now that he knows it's irrelevant whether you like him or not. The woman can overcome last minute resistance, which happens all the time, by just having the confidence that, you know what, this guy's going to come back. I'm shiz. I'm shiz. You know, if you think you're shiz, the guy's coming back. You're not going to worry about it. You're also not going to sleep around with a million freaking guys either. Because if a guy finds out you did that, it means you're going to give away his house. <laughs> it's only good. So like when he's gone, when he's gone to work, he's going to come back and the house is going to be gone. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so like mental note. So that's the answer. That's the answer. For the guys, does he like me or not? Does she like you? It's irrelevant. The question is, is she going to sleep with you? And if you go down the path of having her like you, the odds are she's not going to sleep with you. And if she doesn't sleep with you before, she, then she's probably not going to end up liking you. <laughs> so like just letting you know. Just letting you know. Because she's going to lose respect for you. So 
And, and she should. I don't have any respect for you. <laughs> Next, for the woman, she has to have the confidence to help the guy through the game. She also can't be an intellectual fog man you know how many people we try and like joke with and like uh, 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 uh. what do you want to do oh let's have fun uh, uh. <laughs> it's like you know there's more to it than this right there's more to it we'll talk about how you think and all this stuff but right now we're trying to get into the mentality of abundance and you're not in the mentality of abundance if you're worried about if she likes you and you're not going to be in the position of abundance if you're worried if that guy is going to like you. Is that simple? So the question is, hey, Sonny, does the girl like me? Hey, Sonny, does the guy like me? Hey, blah, 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 blah. The real answer to all of everything you're asking for is if you think in terms of abundance, you won't even have that question. And remember, these questions slow us down, right? They remove or they limit our abundant uh, mindset. And that's the deal. Does she like you? It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. You guys, see, you guys got to see some of the hate mail from... The, the, you guys got to see some of the hate I get from people. Anyways, whatever. I wish everyone the best. Good, good luck, guys. That's the answer to the question. Toughen up. Men and women, guys and girls, here on the sunny side, toughen up your game. Doesn't matter if she likes you. Not at the beginning anyways. Uh, but what about the guy? You're The girls. Girls, you got to believe so strongly in yourself that this is not going to be a problem, that it's not a problem. Don't make it a problem. So both sides, both sexes, or the fluid sexes, or the curious, don't make it a problem. It's not a problem. You're making it a problem. And that's the answer. I wish everyone the best. Get out there. Have a lot of fun. You don't have to sleep with everybody. I'm not telling you to be loose in the zipper. I'm trying to help you raise your vibration and put you into an abundance mindset. From the sunnyside.net, this is The High Table. Wishing everyone the best, and I'll see you guys soon.